My name is Chris Shepparell and I'm a professor at Northern Arizona University in the Frankie College of Business. I've accepted a Fulbright, uh, a Fulbright scholarship, teaching scholarship for uh, uh, Budapest, actually it's not Budapest, it's Debrecen, um, which is a smaller town on the east side of Hungary. The main medical school actually in Hungary and so that's what they were founded as a medical school and so they have a variety of programs including uh, um, medical school still and then they have an engineering program and they have a business school there as well. We'll be there from uh, January to June. They run slightly different semester than we also have a, a Fulbright Scholar program which is what this is and uh, what we do is, is we go over either to do a combination of research and teaching or teaching or help them administratively in some area of their, their university that they need some very, help. Very, very competitive, especially in Europe because so many American faculty want to go and go to Europe. So um, that's probably why it's, it's a little bit more difficult to get in um, into the European schools. But NAU's had a fantastic record of of getting these Fulbrights. I lived in Hungary for 14 months back in the 90s, mid 90s, so 94, 95. And I worked for, um, in a program that was through the US Agency for International Development. Um, it was after I got my MBA and you could volunteer to go over and help small firms over there privatize because it was shortly after um, the Berlin Wall came down. I learned about their business school and the fact that they they have Fulbright opportunities there from from my cousin who, who lived there. Um, but I, um, you know, my, my real connection in, in, in figuring out what, what I could do for them came a little bit later. I think it it helped. I, I when I was on sabbatical three years ago, I went and worked for a company out in Rhode Island that did commercialization of technology. And then when I came back here, I got involved in the tech transfer office here at the university. And from that, the, the situation over in Europe is they're just starting up tech transfer kind of offices and really understanding what technology and what capabilities they have within the university. And so they're required to have some kind of tech transfer intellectual property piece of their, their universe, but they don't really have um, all the processes and everything in place. So um, when I was looking into going there, um, a medical school is kind of the ideal place to be because they do a lot of medical research in that university. And so they have a lot of technologies that are potentially commercializable, but their processes in place to do that and understanding of what it takes from a business point of view to commercialize technology is, is, is fairly weak. So it could be a lot of things. So I'll, I'll be teaching and I'll probably be teaching um, a strategy class and then I may be tech teaching a kind of new venture startup class. You know, these kind of opportunities are fantastic. You know, you get to bring that that kind of the international exposure back into the classroom, um, you know, especially with the dynamics here in the university changing where there's uh, um, a lot more international students coming in and perhaps more international opportunities for our students as, the, as things go forward. I think these opportunities really help expand, at least as a, as a professor, our, our ability to deliver the material in a way that will kind of interest the students.